Hello, I'm going to show you how I made a chicken pot pie casserole with a gluten-free crust and a gluten-free gravy. I started by taking the two chickens that I had and seasoning them and adding water and putting, that was all in my electric roasting pan and I left them cook. Once the chickens were cooked, I removed them from the electric roaster and put them in a large stainless steel bowl so that they could cool for me to later pull the meat off the bone. While the chicken was cooling, I peel, washed and peeled the potatoes and diced them up and got them into some water with some salt onto the stove and brought that up to a boil just to get the potatoes like to a fork tendered um, consistency. And then I took my frozen mixed vegetables and I threw them in while those potatoes were still hot and I left that sit on the stove. I had pulled all the meat off the bones of the chicken and then I finished cutting up my onions and my celery and then I sauteed the onions and celery in some butter and then I'm going to put salt and pepper and poultry seasoning as well as parsley in with them and that cooks the seasoning gets nice and infused and brings out the flavor when you do that with the heat and you had seen me just like a second ago with a little bowl with some white stuff in that was the gluten-free flour that I use I use the King Arthur's that I'm going to use to make the gravy which I'm doing now I am going to share the location that I got this recipe. I've been making this now for, for like a year and a half. Um, and I always make extra gravy than what the recipe calls for. Sometimes I'll double it. This time I just one and a half times it per recipe. And you can see I'm making my gravy right now. I had made my roux and now I'm gonna take the broth and add it by the cup and stir each cup. And once I get that finished, I'm going to add in the chicken. I'm going to add in the celery and onions that I had sauteed earlier. I'm going to add in the potatoes and the mixed vegetables that are par cooked. Now I prepared this part the night before. I took all my bones, I put them into freezer bag and I'm going to freeze that. I strained all my broth and I put that into containers to freeze for later use and then I also take any extra chicken meat and I freeze that as well for a later use and I put the pot with the filling into the refrigerator overnight and then in the morning before our family gathering I made the pour pourable crust the gluten-free so that everyone there could have it salt and pepper goes in there with the melted butter, a little bit of vinegar, baking powder, milk, and then you just whisk it all together and it thickens up as it's on the stove there. You'll be able to see as you watch me whisk it. And what I do on this day is I use a large roasting pan that was like the biggest pan I had available that I could use for holding as much as I made to take to the gathering. I didn't want to like fill something up to the top and try to transport it. I've done that before and had a huge mess. I wanted to avoid it. So I use my roasting pan bottom and then I'm actually able to get a foil pan out and I'm able to make one for the freezer for later use for my family. So I just take the filling. Now, everything is cold because it came out of the refrigerator. So I think this added a little extra cook time than what it normally would. I'm, I'm thinking it took at least an hour. I think I baked it at 375. And you can see I'm pouring the crust topping onto the one that's going to go into the freezer. And I'll move that to the side. And when I was doing the crust on the large one, the whole entire tripod got knocked over. I The way my kitchen is angled, I can't really get the kind of shots I wish I could. I've been experimenting a lot and I just, I can't get 
decent angles with the way it's laid out. So I do the best I can. And I also just use my little track phone. It's a Moto G Pure. So it's not the best quality, but I'm working with what I have and I'm full blessed for that. That one's going into the freezer there. I use a little bit of that press and seal and then foil and mark it. I did not get a picture of what the one looked like the day I made it. This was a picture from before when I made it a few months ago. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, and I always appreciate you subscribing. Take care.